Hello everybody and welcome back to the new episode. Oh god, that was a terrible intro. It's it's happened now. I don't know why I said it like that, but it's happened now. Anyways, we're moving on to Kane. We're gonna do Dark Path, I think. Um, and yeah, we're just moving on with building our streak that should be at two right now, but is actually at zero. Because I decided to go to Delirium previously for no Why? Why? For no reason whatsoever. Um, 99 bombs, baby. That is something you do not see often. And I am very happy about. That is, oh, that's that's actually amazing. That sets us up so well for the rest of the run. Like, I kind of love that. My goodness. Okay. That's put me in a really good mood to start this run, I'll be honest. As long as I don't instantly die to some BS, I'm going to be reasonably happy here. Now, if only I could get 99 coins as well. Anyways, as for the question of the day to day, uh, what's your favourite, like, non-video game to play? Whether it be board game or otherwise, what, what's your favourite game that you've played? Um, just, I'm, I only say it because I'm in a and d themed, like, thought process right now because I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3, um, basically all of this morning. That game is really, really good. <laughs> I've, um, basically this is the first time, I I'm, I'm doing a bit of an experiment, I kind of mentioned it in a previous episode, but I'll go a little more in depth. Basically, I am a textbook, like, over, I won't say overthinker, but like, over analyzer. Basically, whenever I enjoy a game, I overplay it, like, I overplay the hell out of it, in terms of the fact that, I mean, I actually uh, physically overplay it, dude, calm down. You took a whole soul heart from me, are you kidding? Um... But also, I am like on the red. Oh my god, this is a good run. Uh, I'm like on the Reddit. I'm on YouTube watching videos, and I just burn myself out on games, or just generally overdo it on games because I like overconsume media about that game because I'm really into it. And I do it with literally every game, and every single time I think, let's not do that this time. And this time, I'm actually not doing it. I've decided with Baldur's Gate, I'm not researching anything prior to playing it, and I'm not researching anything while I'm playing it. I'm just going in completely blind knowing very little about D&D &D, um, 5th edition on top of the fact that um, that I like don't know much about the game itself and I'm also going to try to not overplay it please please don't fuck me up okay one bomb killed them all that was crazy um yeah uh, so I'm I'm basically trying my best to make sure that I don't um, I don't overdo it and I'm really enjoying it so far uh, I'm really hoping I can get this soul heart here <laughs> this run. This run, man. I want the soul heart. I want the devil deal protection. I want to go angel deal. But this this run is, is kind of incredible so far. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it grooving. And yeah, I gotta say I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And like, going into the game, I mean, it's been tough. I'm only playing on regular difficulty. And I'm having a hard, hard time with the game. Did... Did I seriously leave that floor without checking for any secret rooms when I have 99 bombs? What is wrong with me? I don't know what, I don't, like, I think the, like, everything was just going so well that I didn't even consider needing it, but, oh, I'm supposed to be min-maxing. Supposed to be doing more min-maxing where I can. I need to be checking for secret rooms wherever possible. I could be missing out on some great stuff. Who knows what majesty I could have missed out on in that last uh, floor, but it is what it is. We got good stuff regardless. I'm not going to dwell. It could have could have well just been a bunch of nothing. Wow, that was terrible. Um, really? Like, <laughs> really? Uh, why? Dude, that guy spawned on me. I mean... Kind of stood where he was going to spawn, but still. Really? <laughs> this is, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen, especially back to back. I don't think I've ever had both in one run, never mind back to back. They should have some, like, bizarro synergy. That'd be kind of in insane if they did. I'm going to start using them for combat, I'll be honest, because, uh, I have, I have quite the excess. I have quite the excess. I'm hoping I can get a good amount of money for the shop here as well. I am definitely going to trade a bomb for a single penny. Hell yeah, why not? Why the hell not? Those chests are good, but we don't have the HP to... Actually, we kind of do. One, two, 
three, four. Yeah, that wasn't great. Go back in here. Do one more little bite, bite, munch, munch. Bite, bite, munch, munch. And we'll get any other red hearts. We'll try it as well. We'll, we'll keep going with that. But yeah, I just, I'm, I'm in a good mood today. I just am. This run's definitely helping with that. Definitely. At the minute, my HP isn't amazing, so I'm a little wary still, but I think we've got prospects in this run to do well. I'm going to bomb through to those uh, pots in the middle there and get a quarter because you know the game wants me to have it. Okay, we've already got 14 cent. That little spider managed to creep through the cracks there. Not ideal. Ah, no quarter. How dare you, game. Yeah. And then bomb here. Bomb all of these. Lots of spiders, but spiders are fine because we could get money out of them in terms of our Head of the Keeper shenanigans. We do have another half heart there available for that chest back there. We'll make our way around to it. I'm not going to head straight for it now because there might be other hearts along the way. There you go, we're up to 15 cent already. I expected that to be quick. Another tinted rock there, lovely. There's our soul heart returned to us, lovely. Good. Oh, bomb got downgraded into a troll bomb. Second secret room, I'm not entirely sure where that is. Not there. Quickly go back to our um, item room and pick up our extra 10 bombs. 99 bombs and then 10 bombs. Beautiful. Beautiful. We are the bomb god right now. Yeah, like, I've literally not seen Pyro in so long that I've literally never seen this resprite of Pyro. Slightly annoying that uh, we can't grab that heart there, but it is what it is. All that penny, as a matter of fact. Hey, oh no way, this run's incredible. Oh my god. We got Hemolacria from that chest. I know those chests can give blood-themed items, but I didn't realize Hemolacria was one of those. I don't know why I didn't, but I just never thought about it. And oh my god, I'm so happy. Hemolacria... Probably one of my favourite items in the entire game. Um, I guess we take Tower of Cloth. I'm going to do this for the uh, thingy as well. Tower. But yeah, that's that's a, that's a pretty good result, I'd say. Yeah, I'm not seeing any coins spawn out of our coin shots now, so I'm not really sure how they're working. That was a good hit, sir. Oh no, it's still working good. Still working. Good, good, good. I want to use the tower, but I really don't think it's worth it. Oh, dude, we got two coins there. Okay, so maybe it's even better than normal. Okay, that bomb did nothing. Dude, why are you invincible for so goddamn long? There you go. We finally got him. And we get ourselves the piece of shit corn. Anyways, keep it going. I am loving this run right now. This this run is it's making me smile in major ways. The, the tower. The the tower tower. Ooh, plenty of hearts to play with there if we want to do something with those. Which I'm sure we will eventually. Another heart there. Okay, we've got plenty of hearts here. If we find another soul heart, we might want to actually play sack room with the amount of hearts we've got already on this floor. Oh god, bad hit. Did we ever find second secret room on that other floor? I don't think we did, did we? It's, it's fine if we don't. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna worry about it. Right, my god, this is just like classic, beautiful run. Little annoyed about all the fucking shitty little spiders that this guy's spawning. Dude, so many red hearts right now. Hoping we get a soul heart here or there soon enough. Like that. 
Beautiful. Oh, why did I pick them up? I should have gone to the sack room first. I've kind of wasted that opportunity now. My bad. I just immediately saw them was like, yes. Yeah. Bridge across. God damn, so many bombs. It's insane. Checking everywhere I can possibly think of for a uh, secret room. Increasing tier size. I don't know how valuable that is, but I'll take it. Lovely bit of pennies there. I'll just do the boss now. Why not? Of course you dodged that. I don't really need to use my bombs on bosses anymore, I'll be honest, but I'm going to where I can. Cool. We need to get the angel deal straight away here as well. Lovely. There's more goddamn soul hearts. I'm, I know, and I want to play Saccharine, but I'm just going to go for this. I'm mainly doing this for the coins, I'll be honest. And the, uh, the key giving a slight uh, eternal heart chance is kind of nice too. I was hoping to get more coins from this guy, to be honest, but... Hey, her. I mean, technically we got coins. <laughs> kind of worked out for us, right? Keep this going. We have done Mega Satan as this guy, haven't we? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Okay, Mega Satan's definitely in the running here, then. Mega Satan is surely something to try and do. Oh, that fly almost spooked me there. Potentially here? Not super convinced? Nah. Not exactly sure where secret room is. It must, must be down over near these rooms, because I can't see it being any of the, these other ones. But yeah, lots of red hearts available for sack rooming, but... I don't want to waste all these soul hearts, really. I suppose I could keep playing further until we get the um, soul heart or money payout, but there's a, there's a chance that I don't get either, so... Fool. Emperor. Good, good. Use that on the next floor. Could also use it to get out of our sack air uh, cash room if we wanted to, but I'm not quite sure about that. I think it's better to do it with the soul heart on the next floor. Right. Take out the snake poopy boys. That was a very, very bad hit there to take, but really doesn't matter when we've got this much HP now. And you oh dude, he got me. Wasting soul hearts here. Wasting them. Come on, last little dude. You can't be serious. Anyhow, we get ourselves Chasm, which is pretty goddamn good. Um, if we get bad items, it's going to be useful. And shop, what do you hold for us? Coin flood doesn't do much for us. I guess I'll pick this up. I'm pretty happy with keys. I'll also grab the card as well. Judgment. Yeah, we'll definitely play this guy out. Thought he would pay out with something by now. Okay, there you go. We got ourselves bootlicker. Okay, bootlicker's interesting. Um, empty heart container damage permanently for every time you take damage between picking this item up and killing the floor boss. You will be unable to pick up hearts until you beat the next boss. Nah, suck it up. In fact, I'm going to play this guy and... Uh, I don't have a battery, actually. doesn't matter. I was going to suck up another one, but I don't have a battery to do that with, so... Doesn't really work for us. Right. There you go. Julio, Julio. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sack room is definitely something in the cards for later, but not now. We didn't find secret room still. No, we did. We did. We did. I'm stupid. I just forget. I just forget. But yeah, have any of you playing Baldur's Gate 3 at the minute? It came out, um, like, yesterday. It's, it's pretty goddamn good. Pretty goddamn good. It's confusing if you don't know d and I'm, I'm definitely, uh... In the process of learning at the moment, which is kind of slow going, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I think I'm getting better with it. I'm understanding things a little more. It took me four or five attempts to do uh, my first proper bit of combat that wasn't the tutorial, um, but I got there in the end, I think. Oh, dude. I came in speeding. We'll leave that until the end of the floor. Dude! What the flibbity flipping heck is this run? Troll bombs may be giga bombs. Bombs have giga explosions. 
We have 91 gigabombs. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Using bombs is actually kind of tre treacherous now. But fun. Grab that. So many bombs. This is actually nuts. Good easy take out on you. I forgot to use the Emperor card. God damn it. Gigabomb! Ah, it hit me. Fuck's sake. Troll bombs being gigabombs is going to get me hurt a lot. <laughs> Nice. Uh, I'm going to suck that up. Back we go. This is this is an absolutely wacky, wacky run. Like, I love runs like these because I just immediately know what the title is going to be. The title is going to be something along the lines of, I got this run where I had 100 gigabombs or something along those lines. It's just, it, it just writes itself. It's perfect. That is like a catch your attention, catch your eye sort of title, that is. Glowing hourglass, our first dud. I think we can suck that up though with our active if we get the charges. I just used my uh, card by accident. I goddamn fat fingered it, so goodbye to that soul heart, I guess. It was nice knowing you. Oh, dude, really? I can't get that, that battery? I can't even boom it out the way, damn it. Should be able to get a charge though. Couldn't be too bad. <laughs> Liberty cap now. Nah, I think our starting trinket is better. Half soul heart there. Can't get that sadly. But you can see the chasm shots in blue every now and again do. 2.65 times damage. It's kind of crazy how much more damage they do. Every time we suck up an item, we get a 10% chance to fire um, one of those blue shots. And increases by 10% for every subsequent item that we get sucked up. Dude, that mushroom's tanky. Holy hell. Right, what we got going on in here? Just a boss, sadly. Slightly deceptive how big my shots are because of the fish oils that we've taken so far. Steam sail as well. Hell yes. Gotta love a bit of steam sail. This run is just something else. Really is crazy. Good. Ah, oh, missed him. Maybe here? Nah. God damn, checking for secret rooms is going to be hard. <laughs> right, let's go back and suck up the um, glowing hourglass. That puts us up to 30% chance already, which I think is pretty goddamn good going. We'll check out what we've got, what got going on in here. God damn. Gotta be a little careful around these buddies. Give me all that money. There's another one left, apparently. Oh, on his little lonesome. Swinging like a, a blind fella. Right. Pill? Speed up, lovely. Of course, we're keen at the minute, so we're just gonna take every pill we find. We'll take our zealous heart here. That's going to give us a um, Lemma Get and Wisp on arrival to the next floor. And every, every subsequent floor that we keep it alive for, we'll get one Lemma Get and Wisp of a random item. See what we end up getting. Sometimes it can be detrimental, but most of the time it's good. We got ourselves Midas Touch, which unfortunately doesn't really do anything for us. 
and it's gone. Oh no, it's not gone yet. We gotta get here one more time first. Kind of shit the bed in this room a little bit. Okay. These enemies are kind of annoying. Break the corn mines that can explode and hurt us. We got a library, which is actually really good for our chasm. Um. I'm just going to use Chasm on both of those. I should I should touch them both first. Wait, I can't touch them both. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't matter then. Get back here, you. Watch out. Bomb the skulls. Chariot is decent here. Don't use Chariot often, but can make it work. Oh, I didn't even think about Midas Touch plus this. This was a great use of uh, the Chariot. That was an absolutely fantastic use of the Chariot. Wow. Unintentional, but very, very good. My goodness, that was awesome. Um, we'd lose our thingy heart if we touched that. Let's try and get a soul heart first. Let's go and suck up those books. Suck that book. Good, good. We can play this guy a little bit, get into our secret room for free. Echo chip. What is this run? What actually is this run? You watch this guy give me coupon now. Not that I want it, but... He didn't. My goodness. How dare he. But yeah, echo chamber on top of all of this. Pretty nutty, I've got to say. Pretty nutty. I love that the echo chamber's got that animation swirl as well. I've just been in the secret room. What the hell am I checking for? Crack this open. That's... I don't know about that. I'll take it. I don't I don't care so much for the speed. The health is actually kind of nice. Oh, you've got bombs, have you? You've got little bombs, do you? Say hello to my little friend. I don't know what the hell's going on with the little tile glitching out there. But hey her, I won't judge. You want to glitch out tile? You be you. You've gifted me this incredible run. So not only do we have tarot cloth, but we have um, lucky foot. So echo chamber is kind of cracked right now. Ooh. I'm not going to give him too many bombs because I do actually want to keep my bombs. We're getting a bomb upgrade from this guy. would be pretty good. I'm going to go down to like 50. There you go. Hot bombs. Why did I? Why did I do that? Dude, so many reflected things. Ah, fuck it. I don't care about the heart. I'm just going to open these up. Fucking curved horn. And Black Doll, this run is nuts. What is this run, baby? This run is crazy loco. It's a baby hot bomb. Imagine if it just spreaded fire everywhere. Wait, where was my thingy room again? I don't know why I was bombing back into there. I was thinking the chests were in there. They're in here. Get out of here. You miscreants. Oh, one of them survived somehow. God damn. Runs just so crazy. By the way, if you wonder what Black Doll does, I'm pretty sure Black Doll is, um, what the hell's going on with this room exactly? Oh, I see. Um, basically, Black Doll makes it so that, um, you, uh, you can hit, like, when you hurt one enemy, enemies of the same type that are in the same room also get hurt. So, like, this ghost, it'll also hurt the other ghost. Um, yes? Yes? 
I've got a crawl space out of that. I don't mind that. Uh, I'm going to pick this up and do that. And suck them both up. Buy that. Buy that. That's a Joker card. Beautiful. Quickly go down here. It's a black market one. This gap. Damn run is insane, man. It's insane. Do I want any of the items that are back here is the question. Not really. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Soul heart, lovely. No second one, but there you go. Right, we got our Joker card ready. Remember, we have three Joker cards now. Pretty beautiful. Yeah, if we don't get the boss here, we've got ways. Ow. Why aren't we using a bomb on this guy? <laughs> Matchbook, probably a good call to just suck. Devil deal, that's Mum's Knife. What does Mum's Knife Hemolacria do? Does it do anything? So, let's, first of all, first of all, we go to a regular Isaac Page and see. So, um, Hemolacria. Hemolacria Isaac. And see if there's a synergy. I think it gets overwritten, to be honest. Synergies, um, Mum. Mum's knife. Uh, Hemolacria tears fire while Mum's knife is charging. Um, knife has priority. Plus 10 tear delay instead of Hemolacria tears down. Mum's knife plus... Uh, I think it overrides by the looks of it. Mum's knife has priority. Plus 10 tear delay. Uh, and then the other thing we need to check is the Mum's knife synergy mod. Mum's knife synergies. And see if there's a Hemolacria thing in here. There isn't. Right. I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to remove the item. First of all, let's take this because this is just good. Let's see. Yeah, that's a stinking load of horse poo. Um, remove... And then give. Where? Give yourself the two hearts back. There you go. Simple as that. I just wanted to test it out. I, I, I was pretty sure that's what was going to happen, but I had to find out for sure. You can call it cheating. You can call it whatever you like, but hey ho. But yeah, they removed the Hemolacrium Mum's Knife Synergy for some reason. And unfortunately, the mod does not add it back. I was gonna do um, I was gonna do Mega Satan, wasn't I? Uh, I'm gonna have to do a sack room at some point. I mean, I think we can, I think we can manage that. I think we can manage that. We should just use our Joker card now, to be honest. That's really good. I'll take that. You know what? I'll take that as well. I can't actually use this range up. I've got to wait until I want a Joker card again to effectively use it. Otherwise, I'm going to waste one of my Joker charges. Got to love a bit of a theme in the mix. Ah, I still got the Eternal Heart from that, nice. I got the Eternal Heart from picking it up, but I sucked it up, so I didn't actually take the item. Right, leave that Soul Heart there for now. It's a good item, we'll take that. I want to see if there's a Sack Room this floor, because I will sac sacrifice this floor. If I can. Wait a minute. Really don't need any of that. Let's keep it going. 
So many battery charges. Lovely. Come on, Sakurum. Be nice to me. Be around here somewhere. No secret room there. But yeah, with, with four look, a theme is kind of popping off. And you can see how Black Doll is um is playing into this. Filigree Feather. Realistically, Filigree Feather's probably better, but I'd only be getting it from Sack Room, so... Uh, I kind of need the key pieces first, though, don't I? Tool. 15% chance to apply damage to every enemy. That's basically a different version of Black Doll. Why you gotta make me just hang around here, dude? I literally didn't do anything there. I just walked in and everything died. Where art thou, sack room? Can't really use that effectively. Oh, there's a token there. I didn't even, didn't even see it. My bad. Eh. Doesn't do much for us. It's kind of the... I think that's like one of the worst ones you can get in terms of corrupted items. Or tainted items, whatever you want to call them. Oh my goodness, I just wasn't ready for that at all for some reason. Are you gonna spawn him? Boom. I'm no sacker in this wall. I mean look at that. Insane. My dudes are hitting me quite a lot right now. Let's go back and get that soul heart before we forget. No soul heart there. We didn't find secret room this floor yet. I'm not quite sure where it would be. Here, maybe? There you go, we got it. Grab that real quick. Scoot on through here. And... I guess we go for this one. Sadly, a bunch of stuff we can't actually reach. It's kind of annoying. Right. Keep it moving. Is there anything we can do in here? Um... Look foot makes this pay out more, so it's kind of worthwhile. Got a pretty fly out of it as well. Right, we'll leave that there now. Right. Good to go. Um, yeah, good to go. Hit the foot. We've got good, big damage here. Bit late for boss rush or hush. We are going dark path, right? Yeah, dark path. Taking everything from in here. Down to the next floor and we use a range up. There you get. Goddamn Krampus's head. At least we can chasm it for some... For some usage. <clears throat> you see that? <laughs> oh, that's so goddamn crazy. So goddamn crazy. Like, Tool plus uh, Black Doll is a synergy I never thought about, and it's kind of crazy. What we got going on in here?
Good. Hey, monsters. How you doing? Easy peasy, monsters. Right, show me your sack room. I am going to have to explore the wound floors fully. Because I need... I really need a sack room. There's the, it'd be a waste with this run to not... Uh, not fight Mega Certain. Oh, that was stupid of me. Should have known that was going to happen. A theme is so goddamn good. They buffed it to high heaven. Made it like one of the best Devil Deal items you can possibly get. Blush. Suck it up at least. I'm getting pretty much all blue shots now, I think. Sack altar. Um, yes, I think sack altar is pretty good for us here. Yeah. Down here we go. That was one of these rooms where I had to be quick, isn't it? I think I can still get this, actually. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like the uh, the dark matter uh, effects on our tier. There's a sack room. Lovely. Right, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Damn it. Do you know what? Let's quickly blow these up and see if there's any uh, black hearts or anything. Divine intervention. Thank you. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I forgot about that. Shit. There you go. We got our key pieces. Little bit risky in terms of HP, but I think we'll be okay. Considering how quickly we're killing stuff in general. funny that that works to like patch over the path. I completely forgot about how crazy those troll bombs were going to be. <laughs> That's so insane. Right, I'm going to go back and get that red heart up there. I think it's worth doing. Balls of steel. Every single thing we use now is going to be a balls of steel for a little while, which is kind of it. Kind of awesome. I think, I think we've used all of our jokers now, though. But this puts our health in a really good spot, because we can just use these pills in here and... Uh, Like, there you go. <laughs> Health has been sorted. No worries, people. No worries. Health has been sorted. Right. Keep it going. Pretty sure we're down in this L room, aren't we? This has been, like, one of the most god-tier runs I've ever had. Like, I've had some really god-tier runs, but most of the time they're to do with, like, some absolutely broken synergy. But this one's just like this. It's just like, oh, hey... You've got just the most luck ever. Like, I I, 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 I kind of want to replay the seed and find out what was in the first floor secret room. Because I bet there was like an Archie or something in there. Oh, dude, really? <laughs> Banished it to an island. A theme is killing it. Boss time. Good, good. That's pretty good as well. I'll take that. Shot speed is nice. Pretty big bonus to shot speed, actually. Ooh, what the hell? That could be crazy. Oh, dude, yeah. This is, like, proccing, like, all the time. Look, it's got either occult effects, 
and it does how much damage did it say it did oh that wasn't what i was expecting but there you go um with either occult effect with increased range and yeah double damage i think that's worth it like like cave torn is of course amazing with plus three damage but i think this is better overall i guess we'll take this to the next floor Oh, everything's dead. I was like, what the hell's going on in this room? Keep it moving and grooving. This is just one of those runs where the game's like, here's a pat on the back. Here's, here's like a victory lap. Let's make you feel good. The Isaac room that we had a few days ago was also kind of similar to this, I think. Magician. Um, nah, we have to keep the contraband, don't we? Unfortunately, it's not like we get triple contraband here. Ghost bombs. I like the idea behind that. Yeah, either occult with Hemolacra is also really good because all the little balls that fall out follow your path wherever you're aiming. It'd be great if it just made an absolutely mega ghost. There is a mod out there that gives um, Gigabombs uh, specific synergies, but um, I don't think it would affect this item because this item technically isn't a Gigabomb. It's just a Gigabomb blast from a mini bomb. Nice. And we are going down, right? We are going down. Hello, good sir. I have your drugs. <laughs> not, not amazing, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> you see that? It just wipes out every single one of the same enemy. A little noise where it goes, whoop. That's, that's it doing the tool effect. Good old Petscop reference. Like, I'm literally, like, one-shotting most rooms. Say that and then have a room that I can't possibly one-shot. Grab, grab, grab. Just, I don't even know what to say for the rest of this run. It's just too impressive. Lovely. Boss time, where are you? Don't trick me. Show me to the boss. Like, if, if, they, if they don't die simultaneously, a fame takes care of them. It's great. We've got the right amount of luck for it to be proccing pretty goddamn often. All right, three, two, one. There you go. That's a good damage on you. What the fuck? Our little ghost seems to have some sort of bug. So, I don't know if it's a bug really, but that little ghost was doing very, very low damage. But as soon as I applied damage at the same time, the ghost's damage went kind of crazy. Oh, really? You're going to give me Void Portal there? That's no good to me. Well, that seems like it could be very dangerous for our run, but... Doesn't seem like to to have been all that good, to be honest. I think we just lowered our fire rate by quite a bit. Oh, 
I don't know, so he's setting enemies on fire at least. Play-Doh cookie, hell yes! Um, I guess I can play you pretty freely and get a HP up. Not the HP up I was looking for, I'll be honest. That's minus Red Heart. Nice fiery shots going off everywhere. Good old blur. Give us the double chest drops, you know you want to. Oh, we got a revive heart there, whatever one of those does. Now, I think we're going to be able to kill Mega Satan really quick with this uh, little ghosty glitch that we did to the uh, to Mum's heart and. Satan. Good, good. Sadly, no void there. I'm really hoping we get void after our fight coming up. I might as well do extra rooms where I can here, because there's a good chance of us getting more items. That was just terrible positioning for me there. I managed to freeze that guy somehow. I'm, I'm not really sure how that happened. Entire room just decimated itself there. Love that. Come on, where's the chests at? Been really unlucky with my chests here. I got four luck. I'll be getting a few more than this. Well, he had one set of chests so far. Yeah, look at that. The, 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 there's a weird bug going on with those. It's kind of amazing. Libra, I think, no thank you. Backstabber, however, could be pretty good. I guess I'll suck it up because I'm, I think I'm on 10, but I'm not sure. Come on, just one more pull. One more set of chests. That's Key's game. Not quite what I'm looking for. Oh god, everything died at once. That was so confusing. I What the fuck's going on? I got hit like... Th what the hell even hit me? I got hit three times then. I have absolutely zero clue as to what hit me. Now I need hearts. That was a ridiculous amount of damage to take to seemingly nothing. I have absolutely no idea what hit me. Okay, one of these guys will give me hearts at least. Yeah, and he gave me chests as well. Sulfuric acid, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, last few rooms here, I think. And we got a chest to end it off as well. Sadly, not a good one, but a chest nonetheless. Right. Time to Mega Satan. Let's go. Got to be careful using Giga Bombs. I do want to use them, but I've got to use them as close to him as possible because it, it does destroy the floor, but not visibly. It, it does some really glitchy stuff with the floor. Ah, the goddamn ghost is stuck on his hand. Good. Everything's dying pretty quick here. Oh my god. A theme, you beautiful bastard. 
Ah, oh, bugger. I just destroyed a bunch of the floor. And now I can't see where it's been destroyed. Ah, oh, I just stood in the way of that, didn't I? Stop attaching to his hands. His hands aren't the issue. Okay. But yeah, there's like a big... You see this? Look, I'm, I'm holding left right now and I can't move. Okay, I've created a hellscape for myself here of not knowing where the floor is. There's so little place to maneuver. We're killing him pretty quick, but I am losing HP pretty rapidly also. And there's like nothing I can do against these attacks because the floor is just gone in most places. I somehow didn't get hit there. Okay, we got him. Is it going to let us go for a delirium kill? It is not, sadly. But there you go. What a great run that was. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.